Hey guys, I'm Brandi Chang for Young Hollywood. We're here on the set with Kenya Kinski-Jones as she shoots her new PSAs for Last Chance for Animals. Let's go inside. This is your first PSA, huh? Yes. Are you excited to be here? I'm so excited. Yeah. And I'm so honored to be doing this and it'll be fun. I can't wait. Tell me about your involvement with LCA. How'd you get started? I've always been really passionate about animal activism. I've been a vegetarian since I was eight years old, and I just really wanted to get involved with an organization that I really identified with, so I did some research. I came upon LCA. I was really drawn to them and everything that they're striving to do and their accomplishments, so I feel really lucky to join in. Things are going great. I'm really looking forward to the shoot with Kenya. It's be great. It's just she's so lovely. She's so passionate about what she's doing. She really cares about the animals. So I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to meet her. And honored to meet Basie over there. The dog. <laughs> we have great. to have a dog on set, right? Gotta have <laughs> He's so cute. How many animals do you have? I have her and then I have my horse, Cedar. But I grew up with eight dogs and five cats. Oh my gosh. So this is like, I'm so not used to just having two pets. Yeah. I have like a madhouse. So you signed to Ford when you were 18 years old. How did you get started in modeling? I visited a, a Bruce Weber shoot in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. and on the side, we took some pictures just for fun. And then a few months later, he asked me to come do an editorial for Spanish Vogue. Being able to work with a photographer like that, it's what made me fall in love with it and made me think, you know, wait, this is something that I want to do. And it was a really special experience. So that's yeah. kind of where it all started. Yeah. What is the biggest thing that you've learned or surprised by? About the industry? Mm -hmm. I guess how impulsive things can be sometimes, which is what makes the environment so creative too. You know, sometimes you think that everything's so thought out beforehand, but that's what's so cool is like when you get on set, you never know what can happen. Mm -hmm. So. I think that's really cool. I want to yeah. talk about how you were a vegetarian when you were eight years old. That's a really big decision to make that at decision eight. at eight, you yeah. know? Like I said, I grew up with so many animals. Mm -hmm. I just always had a sensitivity towards animals and I felt this responsibility to be a voice for them. Which ties in perfectly with what you're doing today. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Now you are literally the voice yeah, <laughs> for I'm animal so activism. I'm so excited to finally be able to do that. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time. And LCA is the perfect organization for me to team up with. What do you wish that the younger generation knew about animal rights? Just creating conversation and being aware and learning from others and being open to learning from others and teaching each other about it. I just realized that like conversation can make such a difference, you know, whether it's you're deciding to go vegan or you see the negative aspects of wearing fur. Mm -hmm. I just think that creating an open and safe conversation is really important. Who are some of the people that you're following on social media that you think that are doing it right as well? Stella is amazing about that. The other day I retweeted on, on Twitter about um, meat-free Mondays mm -hmm. and the ways that also going vegetarian or vegan benefits the environment too and it's kind of like this chain effect so that mm -hmm. goes back to like what I said about just creating conversation mm -hmm. but I think Cell is really amazing about that. Obviously your style is amazing and uh, you Thank walked out you. in this and I was like dang girl Thank she's you. rocking it. Thank you. <laughs> what are you wearing when you're not dressed head to toe and what are, who are you wearing right this now? This is Stella. That's Stella? Yes. So when you're not wearing Stella, what are you wearing? What's your off-duty style like? I mean, it changes, like I said, with my mood. Mm -hmm. I like pairing up, like having basics, like a t-shirt and jeans, but then also having fun with accessories, like shoes or a jacket or jewelry to kind of give it a quirk or give it an edge. Mm -hmm. So I like building around that. Who influences your style? Is there a specific person or designer? I love Kareen Royfeld. So, Ooh, so good. Her. Yeah. She's so chic. Yeah. The French women, they do it well. Yeah, you know? absolutely. <laughs> Are you getting to travel a lot now with modeling? Yeah, more so now because I just graduated from college. Now I have the freedom to travel because I don't have classes and it ties into the job as well, which is really cool. Yeah. So I'm excited. I have a lot of places I want to visit. Where do you want to visit next? You can choose anywhere. If you can get on a plane anywhere? right after this shoot, where are you going? I would go to Tokyo. To Tokyo? Tokyo is my dream. Mm. I really wanted to go there for such a long time. When you're traveling, what are some of your beauty essentials that you're taking on the road with you? Sunscreen's really important mm -hmm. to me because 
Always need to protect your skin. Face wipes. Face wipes. To keep your skin clean on the go. Definitely. And drink yeah. lots of water, right? That's always like, I, I know. always like, I just drink water. I know. <laughs> like, I wish it was that easy. I know. Water's <laughs> the key to everything. <laughs> so true.